In this video, I am going to discuss how to decide whether a particular investment is good for us or not. My name is Utpal Kesi. I am a business coach, finance and leadership trainer. Before going ahead, uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to press that like button. And also, if you have not subscribed it as yet, please press subscribe button because that gives me encouragement right now. So this particular problem we are going to discuss with a particular type of investment where we need to invest a particular amount in a after a fixed period of time right so which is in in finance this is called annuity annuity means we need to invest a particular amount at a fixed interval for a certain period of time right similar uh, for example sip is a kind of annuity emis are also a kind of annuity okay now we are today not going to discuss sip and emi even though they are annuity we are going to take a very simple problem today right uh, we know like a lot of financial intermediaries they come with different products to us and they try to they try to sell different financial products to us okay and also some insurance products like endowments and all okay let us go by uh, go by with an example of a of an endowment policy right so now here it is this is the endowment policy in front of us so in this endowment policy so what is the offer the offer is if i invest 9000 rupees every year right 9000 rupees every year for 30 years then after 30 years i'll get a sum issued of 4 lakhs rupees so this is the investment proposal right and similar proposal comes with different terms uh, slightly different terms and they come to us now we don't know how to decide which one is good for us right so this we are going by this and if we get similar two three examples two three uh, proposals then we can really compare them so how we compare so when we compare or when we have to decide whether a particular investment proposal is good or not so there are two aspects one is subjective aspect which is subject to your requirement your affordability and another is the objective aspect objective aspect is the pure financial aspect right where uh, finance professions and financial institutions they take decisions based on the financial aspects only so what is that financial aspect the financial aspect is nothing but return right enter finance industry they work for return or what is called compounding right uh, of course it's a big subject uh, it's a huge subject but uh, we are just going to discuss this problem today right how to solve this problem so how to find out in this particular uh, investment proposal what is the return right so there is a formula and when i say formula nowadays all these formulas are available in spreadsheet be it excel be it google sheet be it numbers in macbook it's numbers in Mac machine tools of Apple right so now what is the formula the formula is very simple let me write down the formula then after that I'll, I'll I'll describe it the formula is rate RAT so how to write it so this is I'm just writing it here RATE formulas are same everywhere whatever you use rate then after that comes period then comma then we'll have to give minus a m t p m t p m t i'll describe what is p m t then after that p v comma f v so this is the formula okay so this is simply this is the formula can you see it okay, just a moment let me adjust it a little bit okay so now this is the formula okay can you see this formula so this is the formula so this formula is available and you can do a lot of research also and you can if you if you go to okay just a moment when you go to excel you will not see minus sign huh? it will be like this it will be like this okay so this is the exact formula how you will find in the excel set why minus sign why i gave minus sign i am going to tell you okay now here so this formula will have to uh, will have to fit and and we'll get the answer immediately in a second fraction of second now what is period period is duration so this is our period okay i'm just noting down here so this is our period 30 this is our period okay and this is the premium is pmt pmt means payment 
payment means if we have to give a we have to pay a certain amount at a certain interval of time for a particular period it's called payment in excel in spreadsheet language it is called payment so pmt we in general language in in, in general language we call uh, in we call installment right and in financial parlance we call it annuity right in finance language finance fraternity we call it annuity right so here it is just a moment uh, okay okay just a moment i was doing some formatting so start okay kitar gaya formatting okay yeah yeah okay so this is now in this particular formula premium this is this is this is this is pmt okay this is pmt this is the payment pmt means we'll have to give this installment right at a certain interval we'll have to give we cannot skip it if we skip it then this formula is not going to work right so if we don't skip then only this is this formula is going to work this is period and this is future value future value means future value means that future in future what we are going to get that is future value right present value present value is if we invest something lump sum today so that is called present value okay if we invest lump sum today that is called present value or and the whatever lump sum amount we are getting at the end of the period this is called future value future value is denoted as fv present value is denoted as pv so in this case pv is zero we do not have any pv got it okay now how to write down how to note that formula how to put that figures in the formula this is important why this is important and i'll tell you why this is important so you'll have to give same formula okay so this is i in a text form now i am putting the actual formula when you put the actual formula you get give equal sign exactly then i am typing r a t e then bracket starts then period what is the period 30 period i have just selected click that cell 30 then comma then pmt now you see now in excel or in a spreadsheet any spreadsheet whenever there is cash outflow that cash outflow should be prefixed to it minus sign got it now here pmt or premium 9000 is cash outflow so we must prefix it with minus sign otherwise we will get a wrong answer minus 9000 got it that's why i gave minus sign right minus 9000 minus sign i have given and then after that i have pressed that pmt then comma then comes pv right you can see it right then comes pv so do do we have pv we don't have pv in this particular particular problem particular example so we press zero then comma what is the future value future value is 4 lakhs right this one is future value future value is something it's coming to us so it's positive we don't have to give minus sign we have to give minus sign only when it is cash outflow so we don't give minus sign we just press that particular cell uh, click that particular cell then bracket close and then press enter so how much 2.57% okay just a moment i am just doing the formatting it's a percentage and two figures okay we are getting 2.58% from this particular policy of course there is a there is a insurance component also which is around 3 lakhs rupees insurance so if 3 lakhs rupees we we will get insured will get if the uh, sorry so, sorry that the uh, if the insured uh, dies and he he is dead then in that case only that the premium will come to the uh, the, uh, the nominees right whoever are like you know beneficiaries right whatever term they use it okay beneficiaries okay so beneficiaries will get that 3 lakhs rupees but if uh, the insured doesn't die during that period 30 periods if he doesn't die then in that case he this is the return he is going to get 2.58% only now you will have to take a decision whether 2.58% is good for you it might be good for you it might be bad for me right okay so that you will have to take a decision then apart from that the other aspects also you will have to look at which is subjective and it depends on you right now similar example similarly for emi also you can take a decision so there is a separate video on emi uh, you can get that link uh, in the description i am putting the link in the description part and the lastly 
so we have a i have a uh, beautiful very very affordable course on personal finance those who are interested please visit my website and you can uh, attend my webinars once you register for my uh, webinar so thank you so much for watching